War. War never changes. Unless it's with apes. Then it'll probably change a bit. War for the Planet of the Apes was re released in 2017 by Matt Reeves and stars Andy Serkis as the Monkey Caesar. Um, side tangent real quick. And Dawn, when I reviewed Dawn in my last video, um, I complained that my voice was kind of shitty and was like, oh, I hope I don't get sick. Hee hee hee. And I got sick. Um, and I'm still a bit sick now, so my voice sounds poopy. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm sorry, I was too giddy. I wanted to watch War for the Planet of the Apes so bad. Ah. Um, but, unfortunately, when I planned to rewatch these movies, I thought that my, my opinions on Dawn and War originally were, like, they were okay. They were good. Like, I didn't think of them as, like, highly as everyone else did. And my opinion on Dawn has definitely changed, and now I think of that as, like, that's a really good movie. Now, for War... Eh, I, I still think it's good, but probably it's about in the same spot as it was before. Um, I really don't know how else to describe, like, why I don't like this as much. It has all the ingredients of things I like in it. Uh, first, well, first let me talk about the stuff I did like. The CGI, mwah, amazing, 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 even better than last time. There are more moments where you can, like... Like, like when it rains or snows, like it falls on the apes and it looks so fucking good. It, like when, um, w when there's just one girl, Nova, um, I'll talk about her in a bit later, but in, in a bit later, that's a weird, weird way of saying it. But when she like hugs Maurice, the fur like fucking goes around her and it, oh, it looks so good. It looks like he's really there. It looks like Maurice is really there. Yeah, no, but the CGI is like definitely the best part of this movie. Like it looks fucking amazing. Um, the performances, um, by the monkeys are probably uh i'd say i'd say a, about a bit lower than rise because right or not rise what am i saying dawn because dawn had koba and koba for as much of an asshole he is um he made for an entertaining <laughs> person to watch uh but this that, that's okay because replace we have bad ape bad ape who's played by the dad of Greg Heffley in the Diary of Wimpy Kid movies. So that's funny. Um, but he does a really nice job. Uh, this movie is kind of more serious than the other movies. And Bad Ape does a good job of making, I don't know, of being comic relief. But, like, he's likable comic relief. He's not, like, annoying. I don't know. Like, he, he's, 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 he's cute. Like, not, not visually. He kind of he looks a bit odd. Like, I don't know. Cute. Like, one time he holds binoculars off the wrong way. He's like, oh no. Why so small? Yeah. Um, all the other apes do good. Um, I haven't really praised Maurice's, um, motion capture person, who's actually a woman. And when Maurice speaks in this movie, because this is the first time he speaks, it's a man. So I don't, I don't know, like, how that works. If it's a woman doing a man's voice, then, like, like, Jesus Christ, they did an amazing job. Because I, I was like, what the fuck? I thought... I thought you were a woman, what? Um, but yeah, no, other than that, th there aren't really that many other apes, like, in the movie that are really, like, I don't know, I would say give a performance, or at least give one that's, like, a big part of the movie. Um, there aren't, also, there aren't there really many new, like, other apes besides Bad Ape. Uh, there's this one ape called Winter, who's in a bit of it, but I don't know, he's not really worth talking about. The other big new character, sorry, the other two big characters, who are humans, is first Nova, who's a random child that Caesar just kind of finds and is like, ah, fuck, I'm gonna feel bad if I don't take her. And then he just takes her. And now he, now she is with the group. And uh, the next one is the Colonel, who's the main villain in the movie and is probably the villain that, besides Koba, actually about the same amount as Koba, is like a threat to Caesar. Because in the first movie, there really isn't a villain. The villain is more just mankind in the first movie. But I don't know. The colonel functions as way more as, like, an antagonist, and <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of him. Koba, in my opinion, like, sweeps, like, if it was Koba versus the colonel, Koba would fucking beat his ass. Um, the colonel is just not very, like, interesting of a character. Like, I, I he has interesting parts of him, but I feel like the... <sighs> I really don't know what it is about him. I just, I just, I'm not that interested with him. 
I don't know what it is. Like, like the movie talks about him doing these like atrocious, terrible things, and it doesn't really show him doing those. So when the movie tries to make him intimidating, it's like, it's not that intimidating. Uh, he does do something pretty bad earlier in the movie, but like, it's not like something that's like, well, yeah, it's bad, but it's not like, like fucking evil. So, eh, I don't know. He's also played by Woody Harrelson, and fun fact about me, I'm not the biggest fan of Woody Har Harrelson, so, yeah, <laughs> so it was even harder for me to really, like, kind of care about him. Um, not saying Woody, I don't care about Woody Harrelson. Well, no. No, I really don't care. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, Colonel, not very good, uh, which is a shame because he is a pretty big part of the movie. Um, but ignoring him, the movie's still good. Um, I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm really, I, I, I had to redo this recording like five times because I've like, I've, I've just had like a massive amount of silence with me trying to think of shit to say, and I really don't know what it is. Like this movie is just so much happens, and yet it just doesn't. Like it does. I don't know why. It just this one just doesn't hit as hard as the other ones. I don't. It, I don't know what it is. Like, I genuinely don't know what it is. The CGI is good. The acting is good. The The music is good. It's the same um, vibe as Dawn, and the Dawn soundtrack was pretty good for being... It's it's. I wouldn't say it's a generic movie soundtrack, but I don't know. It has some parts I like. Like, they still use the xylophone a lot, and I, I just think that's silly. It's so silly. I love the xylophone. It's a silly instrument. I don't know why I'm British now. But... Eh, I don't know. I think War has good parts, but at the same time, I feel like it jumps around so much that it kind of feels a bit unfocused. Like, Caesar originally, like, goes on his own journey and tries to go alone, but in the end, he ends up with his herd, or not his, his herd, his group, like the rest of the apes, that's what I meant, not this herd, that sounds weird, but the rest of his herd... Anyway, and it feels like that entire section could almost been like removed. And honestly, if this entire movie was just another ape like prison break, I'd be completely fucking down with that. Because for those again who haven't watched my Rise video, I fucking love that part where Caesar escapes from like monkey jail on that. So if they just did that again, like I wouldn't be be upset. But I don't know. I just wish that like it was it was more focused. And, I don't know, it didn't, like, jump around so much. Um. Yeah. I really wish I had more to say on war, but I really don't. I really don't know what it is about war that I just, like, I'm at a loss for words for. It's, it's just fine. Like, it feels kind of generic action movie-ish. I know I say that for all the other two, for the rest of the two, but this one is, like, especially generic. It's, like, I know there's a lot of military stuff, but like the beginning of the movie has a military scene that's really good, and I like watching it because they're fighting the fucking monkeys. For the rest of the movie, they're not fighting fucking monkeys; they're fighting other people. That's boring. I would. I came here to see the war for the planet of the apes, for the planet of the apes. I want to see fucking apes fighting people. Like, come on, man. <sighs> I really wish I liked War more, but. It's just sort of okay, in my opinion. And, like, it's still good. It's it's definitely not a bad movie. But I just wish... I really don't know how to make it better. I really don't know why I don't like this. Like, it's just... I'm at a loss for words here. I'm sorry. I really... I, I know my job is to, like, talk about this. But I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Funnily enough, loss of words is the theme in the movie with people. So, I have the monkey virus. the The one... Yeah, in the movie... They, um, the human, like, the virus in the last movie that sort of, like, wiped out a bunch of people. Now it's, like, evolving, and now it just makes people, like, not fucking talk. And I don't know, if, is that a thing, like, viruses can do? Because, like, the people in the movie, they, like, seem like they can talk. Well, obviously they can because they're just acting, but, like, they they sort of, like, tr like go, like, uh, uh, but they can't, like, speak. So I don't know how that does that. I don't know if it like decreases their brain capacity or something. I don't know. 
Um, this isn't this isn't this ain't film theory, so I'm not gonna fucking go into that. But um, I don't know. Yeah, I really wish I had more to say here, but I'm gonna give War for Planet of the Apes a seven, a seven out of ten. Uh, but it's like a low seven, like a low seven. So like more close to a six. Um, hopefully in the next video I won't be fucking dying of an illness. Um, but yeah. Bye. 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 I would do more of like my silly voice, but like that genuine, like that genuinely hurts. Owie. Yowch.